calc or, or calcium hydroxide, some of you might know it, has always been something that I was a little uncertain of, to say the least. Didn't quite understand how it worked, the chemistry behind it. So, like I assume many of you, uh, when I was trying to grow SPS for the first time, which was about a year ago, I went straight for your, you know, ESV two-part or bulk reef supply two-part. I would do it that way. Um, and those methods are great. But my biggest problems were financially, it costs so much more than calc washer. I know you guys already know, but ooh. And number two is that it wasn't giving the stability that I saw out of calc washer. Um, just to start off with, uh, as you can see from some of the clips, uh, you can see the white tips aren't actually, uh, you know, burned from the light or anything like that. That's actually growth. And though for me, it tends to take about three months for any new SPS coral to start really growing. When I started getting calc or really dialed in, um, I saw major amounts of growth and it was just, it was super nice to see. Uh, especially because I'm not, you know, not an expert reefer under any means. I'm, you know, either way, this calc has just been phenomenal for me. And uh, I used to use Kent calc which works great, highly recommend. Uh, but then I ran out of fat and I had some bulk reef supply calc lying around. And I was like, okay, I'll try this. And so far, I've seen the exact same results. A little bit less on my alkalinity rises um, when I use Kalkwasser, but either either way, bulk reef supply works best. I uh, what I do is I use one of the bulk reef supply uh, dosing heads, and I have that hooked up onto my Trident, and I do kind of sort of Chris Meckley's method, um, and that's that at night when my pH gets below a certain amount. Uh, it, you know, it rises back up, uh, it go, it kind of bounces up and down at night and yeah, that's how, that's pretty much how it works. It just goes up and down the whole night and it works extremely well. Cause when I wake up, my corals have like all that calcium, all that al alkalinity back at the beginning of the day. And it's not all dosed kind of at once. It's really nice. I've seen phenomenal results. And again, like I, <laughs> I just, it's really simple. Uh, most people don't have to go overboard like me, but I got a, uh, a vast marine stir and I had that hooked up essentially to this, as you can see, this like uh, five gallon bucket. It's like really DIY and stacked up. I really need to fix that, but that's all I do. I have it up there. And the moment I start to see that it dumps in too much fresh water uh, at the mornings, that's how I know that I need to add in another cup of calc washer. And then every I don't know, three months, I clean it out and get rid of all the unused calc washer at the bottom. And yeah, it just, it works really well. I have it dripping straight into my uh, my refugium area. I don't want it near the pump exactly because I'm fearful that it'll build up and it'll damage my pump. So that's why I have it going into the refugium. And um, also another thing with this, uh, with the Chris Meckley method is the idea is that I don't, I used to use my ATO all the time. Um, now I, I don't because this just fills back up my water to my water line every morning. It's really nice. It kind of kills two birds with one stone. And yeah, and it, again, like um, for some of you people who aren't SPS people, calc washer really helps with your LPS too because a lot of your LPS have these like strong uh, bony bases and uh, just really like it helps them with that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching.